Well, 75 years ago, imagine this. Some of you may remember gas was 12 cents a gallon. The minimum wage was 30 cents an hour and milk was 34 cents a gallon. But as WENY's Ryan Belt found out today, there's one thing that stayed the same since that time. Over 75 years and a lot has changed, but there's one thing that's remained the same. And that one thing is Smalley's Garage on Franklin Street in Watkins Glen. Uh, my dad bought the place uh, December 1st, 1941 on Monday, the, day, the week before Pearl Harbor on Sunday. So after he purchased the shop and then the war started, then he couldn't sell gas unless they had a gas stamp. Tom Smalley told me it's a family reunion. Pictured here is Tom with his grandfather and two of his brothers. But they didn't teach him everything he knows. No joke in society. My mother actually is the one that taught me auto mechanics. Tom's mother, Florence Smalley, was also the chief technical inspector at the Glen starting in 1948. Our name is known throughout the world because of the racing, because racing started here in 48. All the cars that were uh, raced had to be inspected. And the tech inspection was done here. So the races started right here in reality. They didn't race if they didn't pass tech. And my mom was the head tech inspector that wrote the book and the guidelines for the safety inspection and tech inspection. So, yeah, all the famous race drivers, they all passed through these doors or they didn't race. That's all there is to it. He was even a stock car racer himself, winning race after race. And now, 75 years later, Smalley's Garage is still going strong. Cars come and cars go. Sometimes they need help to make them go. That's what we do. There's no end. As I look down the road, there's no end to it. It's got 75 years of knowledge going through it that uh, and they, is known worldwide for all the international racers that have been here and stuff. They all know where Smalley's is. Reporting in Watkins Glen, Ryan Belts, WENY News.